So uh, I bought one of these cheap 40 watt Chinese lasers, uh, laser cutter, laser engraver. Um, and when it arrived it had a bit of a homing issue. Um, so I was going about trying to solve this problem, unfortunately the uh, the seller couldn't really help me. Um, so the problem was, uh, in that video, that basically this was going the wrong way. So it was, the homing sequence wasn't working properly. So I thought maybe the stepper motor is connected you know, the wrong way around, um, which can cause the motor to drive the wrong way. Um, but I thought about this and I came up with a quick test. If it is just the motor going the wrong way, then me pressing this little uh, limit switch here will stop the homing cycle and it will stop the uh, this this head crashing into the other end. So I tried it and it didn't work. So basically I thought, you know, actually maybe it's not the, uh, the homing cycle that's going wrong, it's not the stepper motor, maybe it's just the limit switch isn't working. So um, I quickly sort of traced it round um, not the cables, just the root of the cables, and then into the electronics. It's a bit dark in there, but there's this little um, three pin, well, it's like a five pin, but they're only using three pins connector, which is the only one I can see that would be the limit switches. Um, I'm just going to plug it back in. Because um, all the others have got four wires, you can't really see it, they've got four wires or their power cables or the power to the board. So that was the only one it could be, and that's got three wires, a uh, black, a blue, and a green. And then on the two limit switches, on this uh, X limit switch, we have a green and a blue, and on the other one we have a blue and a black. Um, so I thought about that, and I was like, ah, actually, that doesn't work. You've got four cables one end, three the other, so there must be some sort of connection. So I started ripping out all the cables. Um, I'll come back to this and trace them all round. And they were just this lot was just in the bundle underneath the power supply inside. Uh, and lo and behold, there is a connection. Um, this is my bodge to to fix it afterwards. Um, and this is the actual connection that was in there. Literally, just a wire twisted the ends and then a bit of heat shrink over the top. So um, <coughs> I got out the multimeter and I traced out all of the. Uh, the cables, so you, your green, your blue, your black, what the board end, and then the uh, the Y limit and the X limit switches. So it was easy enough to get the, the Y one, because the Y one was working, so the black had to go to the black, because it was the only possible way, and then this blue, well, it either went to that blue, which it didn't, or it went to um, that blue, which it didn't, um, so it must have gone to the green, or I worked out that it went to the green. Um, and then on this other one, I worked out that the, the blue there went to the, the blue there. And then this green wasn't connected. So that was the problem. So I fixed that, which is just uh, that bodge that I've done. I'm going to neaten that up in a minute. Um, so this circuit is a, uh, well, it's a normally closed circuit. Um, so 5 volts goes through. And then the homing cycle, it basically tells it to keep going towards the top left corner of the uh, laser cutter until one of those circuits gets broken and then when that circuit is broken it tells it to go the other way until it stops getting broken or is reconnected and then it knows it's hit limit switch and come off the limit switch and that's what was not happening because of this break uh, between these two cables they were just like that basically so uh, I fixed that problem and it's now homing properly so I just need to repair that connection, those three wires, and then uh, put all of uh, the cutter back together. 